The one today we're in a Honda Euro R. It's a Accord Euro R with the K20. These are um, quite rare cars, They're mainly for the um, Japanese market. So anyway, we're going to be basically adjusting this handbrake because at the moment you count the clicks one, two. It's basically it's too high. We shouldn't be this high. And also the clutch, the clutch pedal. You notice here, it only really engages a bit further down. So we just need to adjust that a little bit. So I'll show you how to do both things in this video. So to adjust the handbrake on this particular model, and if you just want to adjust it off the clicks here, so we would call this just to compensate for the stretch in the cable. What you want to do is you want to open this area here where your um, little storage area is, and you want to take off the screw here, depending on what you have. And overneath down there is the adjuster. So that's the adjuster nut for the handbrake. So what we're going to do is we want to tighten that a bit. And we want to start by tightening that only when we release this handbrake. So make sure you do this on a level ground. Otherwise just chalk your wheels because you don't want your vehicle going anywhere. Or you can put the vehicle in gear just to be safe. That's removed for another video. Okay, so now we want to get in there with the spanner or socket or whatever you can and you want to tighten that up a bit so then you basically don't want to tighten up too much you want about say about five clicks would be ideal anything more than that and you want to check the drag on the rear wheels but to make it easier to visualize and see what I'm doing I've removed everything here so I've removed the whole center console you can do the same if you really need to but you don't so now just to reiterate what I was doing, <clears throat> we've dropped the handbrake and now all we want to do is take the slack off here. So if we pull this up one click, two, three, four, five, six, notice how far it goes. Got one of these 12 mm spinners, so you just want to get in there. If you don't have one of these ratcheting type spinners, you can just use a normal one. This one just makes life a little bit easier. It'll be easy and then it'll get tight. So we'll stop there. And now we'll just check the handbrake. Can still go a bit more so we'll keep tightening that a little bit so after adjusting it some more now if you listen to it we get about five clicks and it gets quite difficult here so that's what we want. If you're unsure on how much, how far to go, just take a measurement of this when you initially start and then when you finish adjusting it, so then you know how much you've gone on it because you don't want to go too tight. You want to make sure you have those clicks in there. So that's how you adjust that handbrake. So now moving on to the clutch pedal adjustment. Now we are underneath here at the clutch pedal. So if you watch my other videos, it's quite similar to all these cars to adjust the clutch pedal. If you... There's the 12mm nut. I've just opened that nut. Over there. So I've just loosened that nut there. And... If you look there we just have to tighten that a bit so we have to push just push on in a bit more that way the easiest way to do that is to take a little bit of slack off the pedal so go to the point where it's got a little bit of free play 
So about there, it's got free play. And you can go ahead and just tighten that and take up the compensation. So if you watch what I'm doing here with the pedal, what I'm doing is I'm getting this clever spin. So I'm removing all the pressure of this clever spin here. So I'm just finding the free play point. So as soon as you find that point, you can easily um, adjust that push rod with your fingers. If you can't adjust it with your fingers, you'll not find that point. So you just want to keep playing with this pedal here until you find that just that sweet spot of free play. And when you find it, that's when you can adjust it and turn that rod easily. So just try and find that free play point I was explaining. And then if you find that there's not enough free play, we can adjust this um, lock here in the bolt. So that'll just, that'll bring up the pedal a little bit further. Rule of thumb is you want it aligned with your brake pedal normally. But, but it depends on each case and each vehicle. That's about it, I'd say. We'll just check it now and then I'll tighten it up. You can do what I'm doing here as well. Put in first gear and you can find the biting point of the stuff. So now it's lifted a lot higher. And now also when you put the clutch in the front gear, the part will be checked. Because disengaging the clutch. Now after adjusting that clutch pedal, what we want to do is adjust this stop over here. And you want to compensate for the extra push rod length that we've gotten so because we've moved the push rod in a bit further we want to bring this pedal up a little bit higher to compensate for it this image might show what i was trying to do a bit more clearly basically what i was doing was adjusting the push rod as you can see that arrow in the red that represents the nut that you have to undo first so as soon as you undo that then you can rotate the push rod in the appropriate position to accordingly bring your pedal up or take it a bit further down to bring it in line with your brake pedal as a reference. So what I needed to do, as I stated earlier, was bring the pedal up so it's in line with the brake pedal. So I did this by rotating the push rod clockwise so that it would push the actual mount that's on the pedal to the push rod. It would push that further up and thereby bring the pedal up. So this basically allowed so as soon as the clutch is pressed in, as soon as you depress the pedal, it starts to disengage the clutch a lot higher. So there's less chance of crunching your gear or not properly disengaging your clutch. So this is very important, especially if you change your clutch, you want to adjust this and you want to adjust it correctly. So if you have any doubts, please refer to your service manual. Or if you're unsure of what to do, please visit a local a dealership or workshop all right thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe it really helps me out and if you have any comments as per usual just leave them down below thanks guys